Real women murders, not fiction. Love women, don't kill them. Giving real women, unknown women, recognition to the world. Please support our channel and please, please subscribe. Continue to investigate after a woman was found shot and killed downtown. The call came in at about 3 this afternoon. Police finding the woman in the car with a child who was not harmed. News 8 Amanda Porter was on scene earlier today and spoke with police. She joins us in studio with more. Amanda. Brian, police are still looking for the person who shot a woman in the parking lot of the Loose Leafs Lofts on Commerce Street Southwest. This silver car being towed away was at the scene of a shooting that killed a woman. Grand Rapids police say a child was inside the car when the woman was shot multiple times. The child doesn't appear to be shot at this time. We don't have uh, identification of the child. We don't have an age on the child. The uh, child is being evaluated uh, at an area hospital. It was taken by ambulance there. The shooting happened at the Loose Leaf Lofts on Commerce Avenue. Police are working to identify the woman and the child who police say is okay. I do have officers at the hospital making that determination. And of course, we're working to identify both the child and the, the child's, uh, could be the child's mother. A drone from the Kent County Sheriff's Office cleared the roofs of surrounding apartment buildings. Grand Rapids Police Department's SWAT team also searched surrounding apartments to make sure there was no shooter or other victims. We had our, uh, our, our SRT team uh, go in in full SWAT gear, clear the apartments. I spoke with a woman who lived nearby, but said she recently moved due to safety concerns. It's too much. It's a lot going on during the day, during the night. Ms. Hill told me she saw the aftermath of the shooting. The traffic was so bad, I got stopped, like, right where the wall is that you could see the scene. So I turned my head, and I seen her body there. Yeah, she was, she was gone, yeah, sadly. Police believe this was a targeted incident. We don't have anyone in custody at this time. We're uh, developing information about who that suspect or suspects may be. And uh, we have a, a team of detectives here doing canvassing. We're looking for video. Ms. Hill and police alike want to quell the violence Grand Rapids is seeing. I just want to send love to the family, like prayer, comfort. Um, tell everybody who's young and everybody who's older, like, just be cool this summer. It's getting hot. Just stay easy, stay out the way. Just stay with your loved ones, people who love you, and just don't be on no hot stuff just because it's hot outside. If you have any information on this shooting or video, contact the Grand Rapids Police Department.
Quickly identifying the young woman who was shot and killed yesterday in downtown Grand Rapids. Leah Gomez is remembered as a loving, kind mother whose sole purpose was caring for her daughter, Rosie. Our Julie Dunmire joins us live with what we're learning about the victim and a person of interest in her death. Julie. Janice, Grand Rapids police told us yesterday that one-year-old Rosie was in the car with her mom, Leah Gomez, when the shooting happened. Meanwhile, officers are now searching for a person of interest in connection with Leah's death. That person is 27-year-old Louis Fabian Bernal Sosa. He drives a black early 2000s Ford Ranger with a long cab. It might have a sticker on the back that says Bernal Landscape Management. Police say he's considered armed and dangerous. Court records show Bernal Sosa has a history of violence against the victim. He's accused of choking Gomez in July 2022 until she passed out. Fast forward to yesterday, the shooting happened on Commerce, where I'm standing right now, between Bartlett and Goodrich, right in the middle of the afternoon. Police are using surveillance cameras to identify these two people as possible witnesses. Meanwhile, asking them to come forward. If you know who these people are, give police a call. Meanwhile, little Rosie, we're told, requires 24-hour care. She was taken to the hospital after the shooting. We are told by police that she was not hurt in gunshot wound, or not hurt by the gunshot in any way, but taken to the hospital to be checked out. No update as of right now on Rosie's condition. Live in Grand Rapids, Julie Dunmeyer, Fox 17 News. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.